Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you asked me what my 8 month old son eats and today I'm going to show you what I feed him. I have many young parents on my channel nowadays, so this video will be of interest to you. Living in France, we have access to great dairy products such as cheese, yogurts and of course butter. My son tolerates them very well and on top of that it is a lot of fun to play with the cheese as you can see. Here you can see some whole milk yogurt and some blended chicken. I cook a whole chicken and then I blend it to a fine puree. The puree is easy to eat, but I let him play with whole chicken as well. He loves nibbling on the bones, he loves ripping off the skin. It is an absolute joy to see him enjoy whole animal foods. My son never used a pacifier, I give him chicken bones to play with. He absolutely loves it. Chicken is his favorite dish, you can see that he loves the fat like all children do. But I don't feed him only cooked meats. I give him raw meat as well. In this case, it is raw steak. I simply take a local grass-fed steak and chop it up into tiny bits. He loves it. He eats it like candy. Absolutely delicious and on top of that, the cleanest food that you can feed a child. As you saw, the chicken is very greasy, the cooked fat makes a mess and it's even worse if you try to give the child some plants. Raw meat, on the other hand, keeps the whole house clean. Happy baby, happy wife, happy life. And here, shameless plug grassland nutrition, Australian organic sourced beef suet. Link in the description box, use my code Bobby10 for 10% off. Yes, I do feed it to my child as well. Those products are 100% organic and grass fed. Absolutely beautiful addition for my whole family. I can recommend them with a clear conscience. I use their freeze-dried organs every single day and I feed them to my child as well. Those are raw freeze-dried chunks and they really taste delicious, man. It is very, very similar to powdered milk. Absolutely amazing and it is a great combination for the lean steak. Like this, he has plenty of saturated fats and plenty of protein to grow. And as you can see, we're not against plants here. Sometimes I feed him some fruit, in this case mango. He really enjoys mango, he doesn't really like bananas. I really don't restrict this child in any shape or form. I offer him whole foods and if he likes them, I keep them in the menu. If not, I discard them. The vegans are of course delusional and believe you have to feed a child 7 to 10 times a specific vegetable until the child submits and eats them. This is ridiculous. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. You can try once, twice and that is it. And this is basically it guys. Very, very simple. The truth is always simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. In terms of plants, I feed my child some fruits, a little bit of potato and the odd sweet potato or pumpkin here and there. Other than that, it is all animal foods. Whole milk, yogurt, butter, cheeses, raw meat, cooked meat, egg yolks. Very, very simple whole animal foods. It is not complicated. If you look into what our ancestors had access to, you will find out what is healthy. It is that simple. Most modern day diseases can be contributed to diet. We are not adapted to eat fried potato chips, eat pasta every single day, pizza, all of those plant-based foods. In our natural environment, we eat predominantly animals. Then make sure that those animals had healthy lives and your child will be healthy as well. Alright guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Yet again, Grassland Nutrition, check it out. Everything in the description box. 
Thank you so much for your support. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. Peace.